Yeah, two actual challenges they're facing. I'll let you decide which one's tougher. We're live. Kathy Lund Park here on Lone Tree. It was right here on the softball fields that we caught up with the Thunder Sticks in the midst of a, quote, crazy six-week countdown. The Rockland Thundersticks are one of four Sacramento area girls softball teams who qualified for a spot in the Western National Championship softball tournament coming up in Medford, Oregon in just about two weeks. Now, what makes this team's story so unique is that these girls, all stars from different teams, didn't actually play together for the first time until just a few weeks ago. The head coach admitting that while she knew these girls were good, she didn't know that a national championship was going to be a possibility. I didn't expect our team to make it this far into nationals and it's just crazy how we did make it. Not that we never thought they could do it, it's just, it's amazing how they, they work so hard and they deserve it. And that brings us to the other challenge the team is facing. Winning is one challenge, but as many sports parents know, paying for it is another. So in order to try and pay for that trip to Oregon. The fundraising is on right now, today and tomorrow. The Farm Fresh Juice Company in Rockland going to be donating a portion of all sales to the Thundersticks girls softball team. And back out here live, win or lose, both the coaches and the parents told, uh, do agree that what these girls are accomplishing after coming together just six weeks ago is something they're going to be able to take with them for the rest of their lives. They're going to be able to say that in just six weeks, they qualified for the possibility at a Western National Championship. Live in Rockland, Mike Tassell, KCRA 3. Good luck to them.